What is going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. You know the drill. It is Tyler Nolan, and today we are here in Orlando at my buddy Vic's shop. What's up, fellas? Worldwide Corals here in Orlando. Um, so today, I'm working on Vic's arm. Now you guys know, and I think we've done a couple of videos already, but today we're working on a couple of new things. Let's check out how this stuff is all healed up. So we're working on this for a year now. Yeah, this half sleeve is about a year old now. Still, you see, super bright even on his nice olive skin. We got Casper, his white tang, who we're gonna see here in just a second inside in the display tank. Got a great white and some clownfish. So today, we're gonna work on this lower part a little bit inside. Figured, you know what, let's make a sweet video, show you guys the place a little bit, and then a tattoo here. I feel like that's... A reef sleeve in front of a reef. Yeah, bro, Why have not? to. Why not? We're ready. I got a mantis shrimp today. We're gonna put on the back part of here. Um, I already did everything beforehand at the shop so we could slap a stencil on there. Yep. Get tattooing right excited here. excited about that. This other stuff. Yeah, so, the clouds are always in the mantis, I'm figuring, you know? Hell yeah. We're ready. Let's, Let's do get this. inside and do a little tour, show you guys the shop before we get tattooing. So check this out. This is the 1,200 gallon lagoon that they have set up over here at Worldwide Crawls. Really, really insane, bro. Look at this whole pile of donut corals. Are these all lobos right here? Lobos, Ganapora, tons of hammers, bro. Insane, dude. Leathers. Look at, take a look at from the top here. Got a mangrove growing in the middle. I think it's over 10 years old, 11 years old. Really? Yep. That's how. We got um, it from Julian Sprung, actually. Okay, so that that's older than this setup, right? Oh yeah, yeah. How yeah. long has this been here? Uh, it's gonna be three years in October. So we're we're Damn, we're three years. Yeah. And he's overgrowing. I mean, look at that Montipura where it started, and he's just moving to different rocks. You see the size of it? Look where it's going. Look where it started here. Yeah, dude. Look where it's going. Holy and then it's just traveling and just. So cool. So, this is the retail shop. Huge. Got all your supplies, got tanks. Cool rocks. Rocks. Yeah, this is pretty simple stuff. Dude, these shelving rocks are super sick, man. This is what I have in my tank, except they're a little bit purple. But they're already, they're purposely made, so that way you can easily stack them and have them shelving. Got the whole livestock section right here. Tons of fish here on the left. This is where I can have the This is where all the fancy stuff is all in the basketball tank. Woo! Dude, so insane, man. Couple years ago, these things were so hard to find, and now you just see them everywhere. It's insane, super, super cool. Bunch of rain corals, hammers. This one, this one. All right, so check it out. This is where we're gonna tattoo Vic, right in front of their display tank. Now, it's really cool here. See that white fish in there, Casper? That is a yellow tang. That is actually leucistic, and he has changed colors over the years, bro. That is the prize possession here over at Worldwide Corals. Such an insane fish. Very, very cool. And just look how beautiful this tank is. This tank is only three years old, keep in mind also. All started out just live rock and a bunch of little tiny frags, and now it's just grown to this. Pretty insane. So before we get started, I want to show them the coral farm real fast. Also. Let's do it. So let's let's head over to the coral farm right next door. So this is the main retail part of the store, which is huge, obviously, as you can see. Next door, even bigger. It's crazy. So let's go over there, check that out real fast before we start tattooing. Let's do it. It's my favorite part about this place. It's so freaking cool. Look at these tanks here. Look at this shit. Insanity! Like what the crap? So not fair how perfect everything is here. I was here what three months ago? Dude, just look at this. Look how clean everything is. Like it's just immaculate. Every little everything about this place. So then these are all the bins that they grow all the coral in. So everything is full of all these little frags down here, you see? 
Everything is cut off into tiny little pieces. Throw inside of here before they go to people's houses. See, that's what I need for the house tape, bro. Big ass bright, and then it'd be something to break up all that purple I have in my house tape right now. So hopefully, maybe today we'll bring something home. Who knows? But check this out, dude. So much stuff. And this is only one section, dude. There's what, two, four, six, six, 18, or 18 right over here. And then even more towards the back. So crazy, yeah, let's check this out. Let's get a little, little aerial shot real fast for you guys. Look how huge this place is. It's insane, it just keeps on going. Look at all those torches. Oh my That's god, dude. Right Holy crap. So insane. Let's get to work. I let's see Cora all the time, okay? I came here to do some sweet tats. So let's go make let's it Let's finish happen. it, let's do it. All right, so. Um, I know a lot of you guys are noticing, you're like, you, you're tattooing in a freaking fish store. What are you doing? We're doing this like I do every other tattoo convention. I travel all over the world to tattoo, okay? You can bring the tattoo shop to places, and I only do this for very, very special people, okay? We're excited, thank but you. But I do do it, all right? But we're doing this very clean, okay? So pretty much the same setup as the shop. According to the South Florida Health Department, we are doing everything super clean, obviously. Everything is uh, single-use, disposable materials, so it'll be nice and safe. We're ready. Right? Cool. Bring in the tattoo shop to Worldwide Crawls today. And of course, using my handy dandy FK XO. Thank you guys. FK Irons, put the link down below for you guys. And of course, the ink I'm using is Eternal Ink. And today's needles, we are using Maverick. So all the links to everything down below, guys. Check them out. That's what I tattoo with almost every single time. So, All right, Vic. How you doing, bro? I'm ready, bro. You ready? Let's rock and roll. All right, guys. It is finally time to get this going. We're going to start on these little clown fish down here. Nice, nice, nice. Here we go. Hell yeah, man. And then we got that super sick clownfish tank, literally right to our back left, which is almost what I want to do with my shop tank, like I told you before. I know you're not really down for all the anemones and clownfish. I'm cool with it. Dude, I love that though. There's just so much movement. I think dude, it's really cool. I'll, I'll give like, you dude, more. You gotta go look at that anemone tank real fast and tell me down below. You guys think I should do that with the shop tank? We are done with the clownfish. Hell yeah, man. Done with it? Look at that. Beau taffle. Real freaking cool. So now that the clowns are done, we're gonna actually um, we're gonna outline the mantis shrimp right now. So we just have to resituate this whole little area and then you're gonna be laying down on your stomach with your arm out. Cool, cool. We got this mantis shrimp that I drew up in a few different sizes. Because obviously we don't have a printer and a thermal fax here. So I want to just make sure we got the right size going on here probably going to go with one of these medium guys so i can sneak it right in between this little cluster right here so we got the anemones we got the zoos behind it and then these fish up here so we're going to sneak one of these guys right into that spot right there and that'll be really freaking cool mantis shrimp really cool guys if you don't know what they are one of the fastest striking animals in the animal kingdom they they use these mandibles right here they got these super sharp super fast crushers pretty much to crush open shells and crabs and that's exactly that's what they eat very predatory little shrimp super cool all right so this is that little area back here i want to sneak this little guy into this is going to be really cool right here so let's go right my mouth like that now i gotta get this right the first time because we don't have anything to help today. Kind of squeezing. Let's see what this is gonna be. Boom. So just like he's peeking out of that enemy right there. Very cool. So I'm kinda I'm just gonna adjust a couple things on here, you know, he's gonna be going behind the tang there. This other little Antenna, we're gonna kinda 
drape it right underneath this shark instead. So just change a couple little things and it'll be perfect. All right, so now, mantis shrimp time, guys. So we're gonna outline this guy first behind all of this and then color him in. But Eric is behind this display tank looking at it from down below. So go check that out while we get this knocked out. We just did all the black. Check that out. Shaded in there. So we got it all depthy. Ooh, look at that. Real nice. All right, so now, time to start coloring it. So mantis shrimp, we're doing a peacock mantis, like I said before. So all these little like legs and all these little feeler dudes, these are gonna be pretty much red, especially these little swimmer guys in the back. A lot of red here, probably like mint green and uh, some actually some lime green inside here and then probably some blue up top and then bright blue eyeballs also. You know, mantis shrimp are super, super colorful, so I'm gonna try to make it pop as much as possible, doing it my style still. All right, so it's feeding time. We're still mint tattoo, but they're about to feed the show tank, so that'll probably be pretty sick. Show you guys real quick. Frenzy up in here. There we go. Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? Got a little strickler with us now. Dang, dude. Just the in place time. place to be today. Yeah, bro. Just Man, in time. We're what almost a setting done. you got here, huh? Killer, right? How big is this tank? 15. 15? Yes. 15. 100. 100. Yeah. Exactly 15. That's crazy. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Dude, check this thing out looking pretty awesome and now next time obviously when we're finishing up the sleeve we'll go down here we're gonna fill up these polyps and like fill up all this background stuff but that's pretty much it for the mantis i'm just putting some white in his eyes right now and then we are finished baby look at that thing dude so cool man how you doing vic good man john awesome Is it? Hell yeah, man. We're done. Done. Oh, finally. Check this thing out. Ooh, ooh, hell yeah, man. Off to a good start. Now, once that background color is in there, it's gonna look even cooler with that too, because then it'll have contrasting colors against the mantis. But that was a good freaking start for today, bro. Here, check it out, dude. I don't even think you see any hit. I know it's a hard one for you to see yourself. Oh my gosh, bro. Wow, dude, look at the colors on this thing, bro. Crazy. Yeah, that came out sick. What? That's not a towel. That's on the wall. What? I need to see a picture of that thing to see if that isn't. Wow, dude. You beyond killed it, dude. It's incredible. Nice, nice, nice. All right, bro. Naughty. Let's get this all situated and cleaned up now. Cleaning up, heading out. Vic. Thank we you, did bro. our thing. Thank Killed you again. It. Crushed it. Mantis shrimp guys, comment down below what y'all think. Stay tuned for more fish tank videos. Vic's coming down in another month to get tattooed again. We're gonna redo some stuff with the shop tank, redo the house tank a little bit. It's gonna be awesome. Many, many more videos to come, guys. Let us know um, next, I wanna come back here. Let us know the next like theme you guys wanna see. Like what here do you guys wanna see more of? Comment down below. And uh, stay tuned for next time. Later, guys. But they never really understand me. I need a comma like I need a Grammy. She needs the flow with the designer panties. Yeah, we eatin' plenty, took the pantry from the sound waves to the rebel lines from the tattered bridges to expensive dishes. Now we eating ends with these new beginnings. Yet the sign of major for the bank roll. But thank the Lord that it dies a penitentiary. Nice guy, but my inside is empty. Mighty flashy with a bird's eye. Scribble gems to get my pockets lined till I get arthritis. Which my heart is icy. Walking past the bouncer like I knew somebody. Crew like Telly Cloudy or the poison ivy. If I'm like a stronger, when I